Welcome to Learning Socket Cluster with Nick Kotenberg. In this video, we're going to learn how to horizontally scale Socket Cluster. Now, there's two types of scaling with Socket Cluster. You can do vertical scaling or horizontal scaling. And vertical scaling is basically scaling across the CPUs in your machine. And horizontally is across multiple machines. Now, Socket Cluster comes with a worker variable, which allows you to assign the number of workers, which is an easy way to scale vertically. But scaling horizontally is a little more tricky. And uh, one of the ways that you can do this is using Socket Cluster's Reddits package here on GitHub. Now, this at first may seem a little more complicated than it, than it really is. So let me explain exactly what's going on here. First thing I'm going to do is uh, show you a sample. So what we'll do is we'll run a server here. We'll run a server here. These are two separate servers. Okay. Uh, we have a Reddit server running here, and then we have the ability to publish to that Reddit server. So we will refresh, refresh. Okay, now we connected, connected. Message is being passed. Okay, so they both passed, they're communicated. Now here we're going to publish a, an event with my name in it. You'll see, let's make this a little smaller, easier to see here. There we go. And they both got it. Two separate servers. And you'll see, if you look at the configuration for each one, this is running on port 3001, this is running on port 3000. So they're two separate servers, and they just received the message at the exact same time. So uh, how's this being done? Well, it's pretty interesting the way that uh, John has set this up. Uh, how we do it is we start a Reddit server here, and if you go to my um, GitHub page here. I'm going to I'm gonna put this in the description below so you can see how to do it. But I kind of had a little uh, setup here that I put on the page in the readme file so you can tell exactly how to do this. But essentially what you need to do is install Reddit server and then install the um, SC Reddit's NPM package in each server that you want to run uh, connect to each other. And then you need to add some variables to connect in your server and then your broker you need to attach to the reddit server and that's basically it. it's pretty simple uh, now in order to, to display these messages and stuff I added a little more code and you can look more into that but I'll run through just the basic setup so first thing you need to do is you suck closer to credit package which we've explained in previous videos um, so like uh, sock socket cluster create and then some name for your package and then once that completes, when you're in your package, you npm install sc reddits and save it to your package.json. Do that in all your um, all your servers. Then in your broker, you come in here and you create this reddits variable. You attach your broker to the reddits or your reddits to the broker. Excuse me. Or, uh, yeah, that's right. And then in your server, you need to pass in your connection variables to your reddit server. Now in production, you're probably not going to have the Reddit server locally on every single machine, so you need to have your URL or whatever here to connect, and the port that it's connecting on, which generally is, uh, you'll see here, is a 6379, but I created an environmental file here with, with the data, but however you want to do it, it's up to you. And then, uh, in my worker here, we process the request to, with the HTML, uh, sorry, it's really early in the morning and I'm tired. Uh, we, the request for a page we handle here with Express. We return the, the J, we're using Jade in this instance. We return the Jade file, which is just a simple little, oh, I need to install the Jade package and I'll, I'll do it later. Um, and then we grab jQuery and Bootstrap just to make it a little pretty so we can also use jQuery to grab data. And then we uh, run grab the socket cluster file, which comes with the socket cluster. Then we create our own little app file here. This is very, very, very simple. We just connect to the local host with the port value, port um, number, um, which was is saved here, and we pass it in Express here, process.mv server port, pass it. And this is not the way you do it in production. This is just a way I wanted to show how to do it here. Um, now we listen to the broadcast channel here. And then with our command here, the Reddit's command line interface, we publish to the broadcast channel with this data. And that's it. It's pretty simple, pretty, pretty interesting. Obviously, if you want to use this in a 
produ production environment, you need to add some more variables and stuff and make it um, more robust. But that's just how you connect it and and uh, how the, how how far you want to take it is up to you. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I encourage you to please go to my GitHub page here um, to take a look at these files, and I'll also post this below. So if you enjoyed this video, please uh, like it and subscribe, and uh, thanks so much. Have a good day, guys, or morning, I guess.